Hello, hello. Welcome, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Hello, teacher. I had one trouble in this moment. With the microphone, no problem. Don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry, okay. Oscar. Take your time, please. Take your time. Okay, I will share the presentation in the moment. Welcome, Domingo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again, Domingo. Nice. And nice. what about the this week? Are you working all days? Le tocó trabajar toda esta semana, Domingo? Yes, I I okay. quit work with I am the difficult uh, uh, today it's difficult to come traffic. I I understand, but thank you to be in the class, Domingo. Thank you. Okay. Good. So we're going to start with the presentation, Domingo. Yes. Give me a second. Um, I'm sending a message to one student. Give me a second, Domingo. I see, I see the presentation, teacher. Okay. Hello, Mariano. Hello, Tushan. Okay, welcome. Now let's start with the presentation. Thank you. Let's start with the presentation. Good. Here we are, right? English for word, right? Intermediate three. Let me see, okay. Today is Wednesday, June 29th, 2022, right? And the topic for today is um, strategies, strategies to handle the decline stage of a product, right? Remember handle in Spanish is manejar, controlar, right? The decline stage of a product, right? some strategies today okay good wendy welcome wendy thank you everything is okay because we missed you yesterday right Nos hizo falta yeah. Ayer, wendy. yes i i cool and connect yeah i understand no worry okay just give me a second um Okay, good. So let's start, right? To begin, we're going to introduce some questions, right? And the topic for today is music. Chan, 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 music, right? Okay, and I will ask like about three questions, right? And later I will take the attendance, okay? So let's start with Domingo. What kind of music do you like, Domingo? What category of music do you like? Uh, the, the music is, um, I like me, I like the, the pop, music pop, uh, rock. Pop bala, and, and rock. Uh -huh, bala, rock. Nice. Uh -huh. Let's say, for example, the, the classic. Uh, classic. For example, Keys, Keys, uh, Guns and Roses, uh, Bon Jovi, Bon Jovi, uh, okay, uh, Metallica, Metallica, okay, Metallica is good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so rock and mm -hmm. pop, but 
uh, in, in English, right? Book um, is a. Uh, Como es es Raina 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 eh, es Michael okay. Michael Jackson es es pop también uh, yes rock, I pop. know understand Billie yes. Jean that's my love okay yes. that's nice I like it also mm -hmm. okay thriller also right ah uh, thriller thriller Thriller, thriller. Okay, very good. Nice. And then, uh, Mariano, are you a good singer, Mariano? No, teacher. Come on, no. I don't believe you, Mariano. Maybe in the, when you're taking a shower. In the shower, yes. <laughs> Only for me. Only for you, right? And what kind of yes. music do you like, Mariano? Uh, I like salsa. Salsa? Yes. Okay. Nice. Uh, and your favorite band in salsa or favorite singer in salsa? Uh, Gilberto Santa Rosa. Oh, from Cuba, right? Nice. Mm. He's a good guy. Yes. Okay. Very good. Give, give me a second. Um, I have a message in the in the uh, chat, and okay. let me see. I don't find a student here. Give me a second. Regáleme un segundito. Solo voy a chequear un dato en en lista de asistencia. Give me a second. Eh. Okay. Good. Continue. Let's continue. So, next question, right? Uh, Wendy, please. Can you concentrate on other things when you are listening to music, Wendy? Um, it is depend because if I am uh, making next time, for example, uh -huh. I have to be in silence. But when I am cleaning my house or, or when I am uh, doing some activities that I move, I need music because I can do it without. And when you're driving, do you drive, Wendy? Do you drive? I can drive, but I don't like. It. Oh. So I don't. I don't drive too much. Well, I, I understand but, because. In, but I in like San, when I drive. I like to listen to music. In, in San Salvador, my goodness, it's it's a nightmare, it's right? Horrible. Yeah, know. it's horrible. Yeah. It is not for me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. So just give me a second. Um. Ana Maria, the hello, lady, Ana, Ana Maria. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, because I don't see you in the in the in the screen. Es que no la veo en la pantalla, pero. Ah, sorry. Uh, pero... Okay. So welcome to the class, Ana Maria. Thank you. It, it's your first class, right? Yes, uh, it's a little bit difficult for work. Uh in this week and the other week so okay just now i i, I can't i could stay in Good. here so my name is javier gomez right and maybe you know the other students we have today we have domingo mariano wendy aminda rosibel right and yes. we are yes. 25 students we are 25 it's a big group right? it's a nice group right mm -hmm. so and, and today and, we, and it's today no sorry <laughs> Uh, I'm a, uh, I am a student now music. I work, see? I work with music, see? Ah, okay, I understand. I understand, Domingo, but you are part of this group, right? So you are my student, huh? <laughs> okay, good. So then, uh, Ana Maria, when I am discussing these questions, uh, Every time I, I choose a topic, for example, last time we were talking about advertisement, you know, publicidad. Okay. And, and today, uh, yesterday, we were talking about animals. And today, oh, we're talking about... the class to animals, I, I, could, uh, I stay for a little bit minutes. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, do you like the topic? Yes, I like it. 
Okay, good. So this question is for you, Ana Maria. Listen, mm -hmm. please. Okay. Can you play a musical instrument? Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> no. No, oh. I don't play any instrumental music, but I, I, I would like to learn sometime. I don't know. <laughs> what kind of instrument would you like to play? I would like, uh, I don't know how to say violin. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Good. And now, let's question, right? Aminda, help me, Aminda. How about you, Aminda? Can you play any instrument? No. No. Oh. No, I can't play. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. Come on. I, I cannot play either, right? Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, but my son, uh -huh. uh, he, can, he can play the, the guitar very well. Oh, okay. Your son is 14, you say last time, right, Aminda? Uh, yes, it's, yes, he's um, 13 years old. 13, 13, yes. 13, yeah. He's an adolescent, yes. Congratulations to him. Yes. Right? Music is okay. a very good way to develop the brain, right? It's a good way. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Okay, and Debbie, what about you? Can you read music? Good evening. Good evening. Mm. Can you read music? I mean, when you see a, a book, I don't know, yes. there are some symbols, you know. <laughs> I oh, don't no. Understand. No, you can't. No, oh. I can't. No. Okay. But you like music, right, Debbie? Yes, I like music. Good. That's it. Good. Rosibel, tell me, Rosibel, uh, do you enjoy music videos? The music videos. Okay, I, I see. It. Ah, okay. Rosibel? Okay. Can you hear me, Rosibel? I imagine Rosibel is having problem with the internet. No, no problem. No, no problem. We're going to ask somebody else, right? Uh, let me see who is in the screen. Well, Mariano, help me again, please, Mariano. Um, do you enjoy music videos, Mariano? Enjoy music videos? Uh, really, no, teacher. No. In the old time, yes, but actually, I listen music for the, listen in the, in the car or... Uh -huh. For example, the, the, the music videos of uh, Bad Bunny, for example, do you like? No, 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 really, no. I can see. Somebody told me that you have a poster of Bad Bunny in your house. No, <laughs> <laughs> in the room. <laughs> okay, good. Now, Rosibel, now can you hear me, Rosibel? Thank you, Mariana. Rosibel, can you hear me? Yes, okay, yeah. good. So, yes. do you ever yes. listen to MP3 files on your computer or in your cell phone? Uh, no. No, no. I use I use YouTube. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Spotify. Yeah. Also. Oh. So because there are some lists, right? For example, imagine you like Vicente Fernandez, for example, right? All the music of Vicente Fernandez. <laughs> okay. And today yeah. is very easy, right? But yeah. well, in my cell phone, for example, I have a MP3 mm -hmm. file with a lot of music in my computer too. Uh, but I guess it's coming all, right? The MP3 files are coming all, right? Estamos viendo viejitos, so even the CDs, you know, they are disappearing. Okay, next question, please. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. Aminda, do you have an expensive stereo system? No, I don't oh. have. Only no. the cell phone. <laughs> no, no. Only, only, only the cell phone and the smart TV. <laughs> oh, nice. No, listen. What, what I like is that today, for example, there are some small speakers. Right? Ah, yeah, yeah. And, and, they and are... connect to the, the, the speaker to, to the, the cell phone. The yeah. cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good option. Yes, I like it. Yeah. 
Uh, my wife gave me a, a speaker. She she bought a Huawei cell phone, and she gave me the 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 speaker, right? And this speaker is really good, you know, it has a good sound. Right? So I don't need a, a, an expensive stereo system, it's just my, my speaker, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now, um, Ever, hello, Ever, welcome. Ever. Good evening, know, everyone. Hello. Do you have, do you know the band name Metallica? Oh, yes, teacher. Yes. I like that. Do you, oh, good. So you like rock? Yes, I like, I like, this is my favorite type of music uh, I like to listen. Oh, good. Domingo says that he likes Metallica too. He likes yeah. too, yes. Yes, it's a good I band. think the, the album, the, the, the Master of Pop album, it is the, the, the main forum for me. Okay, nice. Very good. Now, uh, let me see, Rosibel again. Rosibel, do you like all kinds of music? You know, bachata, rock, ranchera, salsa, classic, a new, new era, you know, nueva era. Uh, not not totally. Not, not totally. totally. Not totally all, but because rancheras I don't like. Oh, God. And trios? Do you like trios? No, no. La puerta se cerró detrás de ti. Okay. My mother no. used to, to my mother used to like the trios. That's why I like trios, you know, because and they are very romantic, Rosy the El come on. But yeah. the other night. You have I never received a serenade. It. Never. Uh, a serenade, no, serenata, never. never. No, oh. never. But uh, I I don't like. You don't like serenatas, you don't like serenades. <laughs> okay, very well. But no. you like music in English, right, Rosibel? Yes, okay. of course. That's enough for me. For me, it's enough. If you listen to English, for me, it's the best, right? Good. Yes. Wendy again. Wendy, do you like American rock bands? Mm -hmm. For example, we have Mon Jovi, we have Guns N' Roses, we have, um, well, the old ones, uh, Metallica, Megadeth, etc., etc. Do you like the rock bands, Wendy? Um, I like, but I don't listen too much. For example, I like Bon Jovi. Mm -hmm. I think that is more, it's old. And for example, okay. I like more the, the rock band, but um, the new rock bands. For example, oh. when, when I was a teenager, I mean, I, I'm not too younger, but when I was a teenager, my favorite band, one of my favorite band was Maroon 5. But ah, for example, ah, yes, of course. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. but for example, um, today I think that they changed too much her style and I don't mm -hmm. like it too much, the new music, but the old music of Maroon 5 is so good. Yes. Now I like, now my favorite, actually my favorite band today is uh, Imagine Dragons. Oh, I hear about that band. Yes, it's interesting. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. No, my, my favorite band is not uh, American. It's from Ireland. It's U2. U2. It is. I love Very it. good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and I know. Have you heard Did you went to the concert band? of Costa Rica? Sorry? Costa, in Costa Rica. Did, did you went to the concert? No, no, of no. Costa Rica? no. Sorry. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have the, <clears throat> the opportunity. <clears throat> ah, okay. okay. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> but I would like, yes. And yes, when yeah, have yeah. you heard this band, uh, Fleetwood Mac? Um, no. No, I think no. Well, no. this is a very old band and it's made for integrants of, from England and United States, right? So, well, I like classical rock, so it's one of their... Um, a band that is American also, right? So it's yeah. very nice. Well, anyway. Okay. And okay. the last question, right? We have the new student, Ana Maria. And I have the question for you, Ana Maria. Do you like country music? Mm, I, I'm not a fan about the country music, but I like some, someone, I think. Okay. Well, 
we can call, for example, country music from the United States, but, but we, in, in, in El Salvador, for example, the country music is La Ranchera, right? Yes. For example, <laughs> I, I remember uh, Ana Maria, I had a neighbor who used to, to, to listen one ranchera song all the time. And this song, it says, Piquete de hormiga tendrás que recibir, you know? And then, my, I never hear that. <laughs> my God, I want to kill myself. <laughs> <The mango. laughs> yeah, well, anyway. Good, so thank you very much, class. So I will take the attendance. Now I get the opportunity to come on time, right? Good, uh, Trini? Present. Okay, welcome, Trini. Aminda? Present. Good, Ana Maria? Present. Carlos? Claudia Guadalupe? In the chat, right, Claudia? Okay. Uh, Domingo? Present. Good. Ever? Present. Jose Roberto? Present. Good. Welcome, Jose Roberto. Everything is okay? Todo bien, Jose Roberto? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Carla Benazir uh, in chat, right? Okay, yes, I got it. Thank you, Carla. Eh, Carla Vanessa no va a estar con nosotros esta noche. Okay, and eh, Leslie? Leslie? Let me see, I have Yvette and Carla Vanessa. Okay, so no, right? No, Leslie, to me. Leticia Guadalupe? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Mariano? Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo? I'm here. Good, nice. I see you resolve your problem with the microphone, right, Oscar? Nice. Uh, Rosemary? Va manejando, ¿verdad, Rosemary? Present teacher. Okay, good. Tenga cuidado, tenga cuidado. No está lloviendo, pero... <laughs> Esas calles del Señor son peligrosas. <laughs> sí, vengo desde Ilopango, así que Ooh, be careful. me desconecto porque tengo que pasar al super. Está <laughs> bien, ahí nos compra algo. Yes. <laughs> Rosibel. Ya está, ya está, gracias. <laughs> okay. Rosibel. Present. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Yvette. Present teacher. Good. Present. Good, thank you. Vanessa Noemi. Vanessa. Okay. Uh, Walter Omar? Present. Good. Thank you. Wendy Karina? I'm here. Good. Vicky Dinora? Vicky? Miriam Veronica? Salvador Chamba? I'm here, Mr. Okay. Good. Thank you. Debbie? Present. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo. Jorge. Okay. Good. So let's continue with the class. Now, today's most, the class is related to vocabulary, right? Vocabulary, videos, listening, etc. right? And we continue. Today is the last class for unit number one, the product life cycle. Today we finish, right? And we're going to we're going to read the, the the objective for tonight, right? Walter, can you read, please, for the class? The objective for today. Of course. Unit one. The product life cycle. I will be able to identify reasons for. Let me see. Identify reason for the decline of a product and suggest strategies for the business to deal the decline of a product. Thank you very much. So what are the motives or what are some situations that promote the decline, the destruction, the failure of a product, right? 
And also we're going to learn about some strategies to help a product that is declining, right? A product that is being affected, right? So maybe you, especially for the ones who work for, for business, right? For the ones who work with products tonight, right? You can, you're going to, to find this information very important, right? Okay. Now, let's start with the vocabulary, right? I will read, and then I will ask you to read for me, right? Whimper, a low sound expressive of fear or pain. Profit, a financial gain. Uh, dip, in present, dip, right? Let something down quickly, right? Smartness, intelligence, as manifested, manifested, sorry, in being quick. Some people are intelligent and some people are intelligent and fast. You know, that is the difference, right? Okay. A fool, have enough money to pay for. If you have money to, to pay a Toyota, nice. But if you have money to pay a Mercedes Benz, my goodness. So you can afford, you can pay, right, for that. Afraid. Afraid, feeling fear or anxiety, right? Feeling fear or anxiety. Disrupt, interrupt an event, interrupt an activity or interrupt a process by causing disturbance. Okay? Despite, without being affected by, that in Spanish is a, a pesar de, right? Income. I mean, re revenues, revenues are incomes, income, right? Ingresos, incomes. Update, make something, make a computer program, make a, a house, make a business, more modern, right? Update. For example, these classes, these virtual classes in, in Zoom, right? It's more modern. The, the first Zooms were very basic, but these Zooms are, come on, really good, right? The only problem the teacher has is that the teacher cannot use the board. <laughs> El teacher no puede usar la pizarra. Wanna try today, right? Vamos a intentarlo otra vez esta noche. <laughs> okay, good. So help me reading, please. Help me reading because this is uh, part of the vocabulary we're going to learn today. Uh, Debbie, can you read the first one, please, for me? Mm, whimper. Whimper, whimper. Whimper, mm -hmm. a low sound express a fear or pain. Good. Do you know what is whimper in Spanish? Let it no, teacher. Gemido. Okay. Gemido, right? Whimper. whimper. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Profit. Domingo. Can you read for me, Domingo? Profit. Profit. Uh, uh, final of the game. Financial. Financial, Financial game. game, right? Okay, yeah. good. Dipped, dipped. Uh, Aminda, please help me. Okay, uh, deep. Let something down quickly. Down, right? Down. Quickly, yeah. right? Okay, the same like selecta sub 20, right? Deep. <laughs> okay, good. Ana Maria, please, smartness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, never, yeah. never winner. They selected. Yeah, never on. winner. They lost with uh, Republican Dominic, right? Okay, Ana Maria, <laughs> smartness, please. Smartness. Smartness, intelligent, as I'm manifesting in the game, quick. Being quickly, very good. Ever, please. Next one. Yes. Afford. The meaning. Have enough money to pay for it. Good. Thank you. Afraid. Let me see. Afraid. Uh, let me see. Leticia, please. Afraid. Yes, teacher. Read, please. Read. What is the meaning of afraid? Fear or anxiety. What is the term? Anxiety. Anxiety. 
Any city. Okay. Afraid. Feeling fear of anxiety. Okay, good. For example, I am I am afraid of uh, slugs, you know, ligosas in my case, right? I don't like the slugs. Sorry. Some people I imagine are afraid of snakes, right? Mariano, are you afraid of snakes? Uh, not if I really know. Oh, you love them, right? No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Chamba? Yes. Mister. Yes. How the the um, how do you pronounce feeling fear or anxiety? Anxiety. Anxiety. Yes. Ansiedad, right? Anxiety. Ansiedad. Uh huh. Anxiety. Anxiety. Okay. Uh -huh. anxiety. Thank you. Good. Thank you. See you, Chamba. And and uh, are you are you afraid of something, Chamba? Yes, a snake. Snakes. Yeah. Okay. Somebody told me that you're afraid of mothers in law. It's true. No. My, my son loves snakes. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's nice, right? <laughs> but I don't like it. I'm fear. Okay, yeah, me too, right? I'm afraid. Good. Now, disrupt. Uh, Carlos, can you help me, Carlos? Disrupt. Uh, you're driving, right? Está manejando, right, Carlos? Yes, yes, no, no, yes. Don't worry, don't worry. Only pay attention, please. No, 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 no se preocupe. No, no va a ir a chocar por culpa de nosotros. <laughs> don't worry, continue, continue, right? Uh, Aminda, please disrupt. Okay, disrupt is uh, interrupt an event, activity, or process by causing a disturbance. Disturbance, disturbance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it, right? Disrupt. Now, despite uh, Yvette, Yvette, are you yes. in the work or you're in the class, right? In the class. Oh, good. Thank you. Now, Yvette, read, please. Despite. <laughs> despite. Yeah, it's number eight, right? Yeah. Uh, Despite without begin affect by affected by right affected by mm -hmm. so for example uh, I work in the day but despite that I am working at night too you know so I'm not affected I can continue working you know because uh, in the afternoons I am free you know so I have the time to to work with you uh, in the night. So despite I work in the morning, I can work with you, you know? So I'm not affected with that, right? So it says in Spanish, a pesar de, right? A pesar de. Revenues are incomes and it's related with money, right? Money. When you receive money, you have revenues, right? And in El Salvador, Ministerio de Hacienda is checking your revenues, right? Okay, because we have to pay taxes, right? Okay, and update, update. Who's going to help me with update? Mariano, help me, please. Read. The update uh, makes something more modern. Okay, very good. Thank you, everybody. Any extra question for the vocabulary for today? Extra pronunciation, meaning, translation. How do you say that in Spanish? How do you say that in French, in Portuguese, in Japanese? <laughs> I can tell you everything, right? The, the, the yes, Domingo. Manis, manifest. What is it? Number? Uh, four. Number, Number four. four. Smartness. Mm -hmm. Smart, yes. smart is you know intelligent and fast okay for example you say two multiplied by two and then you say mm, two multiplied by two is four you're intelligent right but when you're smart two multiplied by two four you're very fast right understand okay. 
Some people okay. take the time and they think and they give a solution for the problem, but slowly, right? For example, I, I'm considered that I'm slowly, but, uh, but some people have the answer, the correct answer and fast. Those are smart people, you know, smart. Okay. Uh, for example, there is a commercial place that is called Price Smart, right? Los precios listos, los precios inteligentes, you know, Price Smart. Price Smart. Mm -hmm. And Ness is a suffix that indicates that this adjective smart is a noun, right? El sufijo Ness cambia el adjetivo smart en un nombre general, right? Smartness. Good. Any other question? Thank you for your question, Domingo. Now, okay. any, any other question? No? The pronunciation, the number oh. five. Number five, afford. 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 Eh, poder pagar algo, you know? Afford. For example, uh, I can afford a house in Mexicano, right? <laughs> I cannot afford a house in Colonia Escalón. No, right? I cannot afford, you know? I can afford a Toyota, right? I cannot afford a Lamborghini. No. <laughs> okay, understand? Afford. I have enough money. I have enough money for a choripan, <laughs> but not for La Pampa Argentina. <laughs> understand? So afford something you can pay, right? Good. Class, any question? No? So let's continue. Now, we're going to discuss together, you know, because I say today is only vocabulary, 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 right? No grammar, no grammar, vocabulary. Causes that generate the decline of a product. What are the reasons that some products disappear in the market, right? What is the reason, for example, leche formos disappear, right? What is the reason, I don't know, Cola uh, is still alive, right? Uh, well, there are a lot of products, you know, uh, that disappear in the market. So what are the reasons that provoke uh, this bad situation for the products? Number one, obsolence, obsolence. When I see, when I saw this word, I say, what is that? In Spanish it's obsolencia, right? But, well, I don't know, but the meaning is, a significant decline in the competitiveness, competitiveness or value of a product, usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. Okay, what, what is in, in a good English, I mean, in, in a single language English, right? What is that? Is that other products are more competitive, right? Okay. Or are more innovative, are newer. Or cheaper. More competitive, more innovative, and cheaper. Let's say, for example, right? Uh, uh, choose Nike, for example, right? Nike. A good choose, of course, Nike. Uh, but suddenly we have other Adidas, for example, right? Uh, Adidas become uh, more innovative, right? You see, ah, these Nikes are old. The style is old, right? Yeah. So I want to buy Adidas. Or if you go downtown, right? Si vamos al centro, se nos llaman Adidas, sino que Adidas. <laughs> okay, but Adidas, right? And they are cheaper, you know? They say, no, oh, Nikes are so expensive. The shoes Nike are very expensive. You know? So I better buy Adidas. They are better, they are cheaper, they are good. Probably. So obsolence is this, that the difference between one and the other product is, is important, you know? That is obsolences, obsolences, right? Okay, good. This is the one of the reasons one product can go down, decline, right? Any question? The pronunciation of solence, competitiveness. Again, we have next, look. Este sufijo cambia el adjetivo en un nombre, right? Because competitive is, compet 
competitivo, right? Uh, but competitiveness is in Spanish a, a competitividad, <laughs> okay? So competitiveness, good. Available is that is disponible, you know, available, right? Good, so let's continue with the other reason. Reason number two for the decline of a product, right? Demand downturn, right? It means that the demand reduced, right? It says a reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or service. I will give you one example with one movie, right? Recently, everybody was talking about Buzz Lightyear, the movie, you know? Buzz Lightyear, let's go to the movies and see the Buzz Lightyear, right? Everybody was interested in the movie, right? But for some reason, I guess there was a controversial issue in the movie, right? And other reasons provoke that the public lost the interest in this movie, right? So the same happened with products, right? Uh, Quesadilla Gonzalez, for example, right? Domingo is the owner of this quesadilla. <laughs> quesadilla Gonzalez, okay, everybody's buying Quesadilla Gonzalez. Oh, they are delicious, right? But suddenly they say, no, do you want Quesadilla Gonzalez? No, thank you, no, I'm not interested anymore. So, oh, <laughs> sorry, Domingo. <laughs> okay, so. The demand downturn, it means that the demand reduce the demand of the product, right? This is the second reason for the declining of a product. Reason number three, changes, yeah, give me a second, changes in customer preference, right? The second one was interest. And then in this case, you are interested, but knowing your product, you're interested in other similar product, you know? So the presence of innovative products or services cause customers to change their taste, lo gusto, right? And preferences, right? For example, sometimes you like to, to drink leche formal, right? Okay, but you say, no, no, I, I will change for leche muki. Leche muki is the, the ex leche formal, you know? I don't know if you know that, no? If you go to the supermarket and you say leche muki is the ex leche forma, you know. So, but people say, no, I will change my I, I like leche muki more now, right? Or well, let's let's think about a restaurant, right? Okay, um uh, there is a very famous uh, coffee in, in Ruta Panorámica, right? The name is Cafe Santa Cruz, right? Where you can see the Lopango Lake. And, Beautiful place, right? But next to Cafe Santa Cruz, we have a Kiosco San Francisco. It's all the restaurants, similar, right? It's very beautiful place, right? If you want to visit, right? So then you go all the time to Cafe Santa Cruz. All oh, delicious, good food, etc. Et but one day you say, mm, let me try. I will change. I will go to Cafe San, uh, Kiosco San Francisco, right? So you you change your preference, right? Reason number three. Reason number four. It says global competition, right? International competing companies may offer better products and cheaper prices and with better distribution, right? Which might cause the decline of locally manufactured products, right? Uh, one of the most popular situation that we suffer in El Salvador is uh, the vegetable, right? And the fruits. Uh, there are many places that produces uh, vegetables in El Salvador, right? And next to Opico, for example, there is uh, an extension where they cultivate uh, vegetables and fruit, right? But they are not competitive, why? because uh, the, the vegetables from Guatemala, you know, are cheaper and maybe better, I'm not sure, but, and the distribution is very fast, you know? Uh, you see a lot of trucks going to Guatemala and bringing the, the vegetables to La Tiendona, right? And the distribution, three o'clock in the morning, a lot of pickups, right? Take the vegetables and they go to everywhere, to the pupusarias, to the restaurants. So the distribution and the quality, I don't know if the quality, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's better, right? 
So thank you, Yvette. Yes, it's true. The flowers, the flowers are coming from Guatemala. They are better, right? I don't know what happened, but this can cause that your products goes down, right? Your product goes down, yes? Good. So these are four reasons, four reasons that your product can decline, can go down, right? Let's go back and says obsolence, demand downturn, changes in customer preference, and global competition, right? Any question about vocabulary or, or pronunciation? Uh, please explain again the, the, the last a customer downtown. Global competition, right? No. No, no, the previous. No. Demand downturn. Yes. Downturn means that it uh, cambia a la baja, you know? Down is down, you know, and turn is a change. So demand downturn. Se baja la demanda, se reduce la demanda, right? So it means that it's a reduction of customers' interest in, in buying a product or sell. You know, here we have the, the apostrophe in the possessive because uh, it's plural, right? Remember that in plural nouns, we put the, the apostrophe at the end, right? You know, when, when we're talking about possessive noun, right? So in other words, your interest in a product disappear, right? You, you're not more interested in the product, right? That's it, right? Okay, understand? Yes? Any other question? Question, questions? No. We are going to make an exercise later. So please, if you don't understand, tell me. Yes? Okay, good. So the second topic for tonight, remember we say it's about vocabulary. Uh, now, well, those are reasons for the decline of a product, right? Now mm. we're going to learn about some strategies. Remember, this is the second part of the objective for tonight. Strategies to handle, right? Estrategias para manejar, right? The decline stage of a product. Your product is going down. And your money too, of course, right? Is going down. Or the product of your company is going down. So what is the solution? The solution is, is not the suicide, no. The suicide, no, please, don't do that. The solution is the next, lower prices. Reduce the prices. Reason number one, right? What is lower price? Things that do not cost much, right? For example, the clothes in El Salvador, I consider in my personal opinion that the clothes, you know, jeans, shirts, pants, t-shirt, et cetera, et cetera, are not very expensive, right? You can no, you can go to any, any store, you can go to shopping center, you can go downtown, you know, you can go to uh, El Agachón. <laughs> Wherever you go, you know, the clothes are really, really uh, cheap, you know? So, and if the other companies are making your product decline, reduce prices. This is the best, right? Okay, good. Next one, repackage, repackaging, right? Repackaging. What is repackaging? The process of packing Packaging, sorry, goods again or differently, right? Uh, this is more like the presentation of the product, right? Sometimes it's the same product, right? For example, say Cafe Listo, for example, right? And you see the Cafe Listo, the same uh, style, you know? But then they change the picture. They just, this is the new coffee. Right? It's the same coffee, but <laughs> the presentation is different. And remember, we are attracted for the vision, right? When you see something, oh, excuse me, it's a new problem. <laughs> so it's one of the solution, right? Okay. 
the process of packaging goods or products, right? Or merchandise again or differently, right? Uh, strategy number three, discontinue, discontinuation, right? Breaking off, you know, an interruption of the production of the, of the product, right? Temporary or permanent, right? So if you think your product is not going well in the, in the market, breaking off, stop. Breaking off means stop. Interrupt this, the production, right? If you're producing churritos, if you're producing shoes, clothes, milk, whatever, any, any product, stop, right? Discontinuation. And finally, this is the, the one that I like more, innovation, right? Innovation is a new idea, right? About your product, improve your product, right? Or create a new one, right? In your company, right? And it says creative thoughts, pensamientos creativos, right? Creative thoughts, thoughts. Those are the, the strategies. And finally, I guess it, yes, that's what the last one, co-branding. Well, brand, brand is the name of the product, right? Brand is the name of the product, right? For example, uh, Kellogg's, Kellogg's is the brand of a cereal. Kellogg's is the brand of a cereal, right? Understand? The brand, uh, talking about that, I told you last time, right? Uh, le conté la vez pasada porque Kellogg's está triste, right? No. ¿Por qué está triste Kellogg's? No. No. Kellogg's está triste porque Choco Crispy. Yes. ¿Y saben dónde se golpeó? En su carita. Yes. Okay. So Kellogg's, sorry for the bad joke, but okay. Kellogg's is a brand. Toyota is a brand. Isuzu is a brand, right? Uh, Impresa, Repuestos is a brand. So the brand is the name. Okay, so when you, you're branding, you're giving a name of your product, right? You're giving a name to your product. But co-branding is to participate uh, with uh, one brand and another. For example, uh, one example, what could, example could, ah, yes, uh, Fanta and Coca-Cola, right? That's one example, right? Fanta and Coca-Cola, the, the same owner, but two brands, right? Look, it says a marketing strategy that utilizes multiple brand names on a good or service as part of a strategic alliance. Okay, you can give two products, right? Different brands in your same company, or you can participate in an alliance with other company, right? You can put together. I have seen this many times in the banks, for example, right? In the banks, I have seen that the, the fusion, the integration of two banks, uh, also with some, uh, ah, this is in, uh, a, a touristic place. What is the name of this touristic place? Is in the road Santana. I forgot the name, but this touristic place is integrated with a with a hotel. So the brand of the the names of the hotel and the name of the touristic center is together. You know, so co-branding is a good way to help your product, right, or your service, right. Uh, improves or get better, right? So we have five strategies. I say four, but no, they are five strategies. There are more, of course, right? But these are some of the the, the most popular, right? Okay. Any question, class? Okay. Lower prices, repackaging, Discontinuation, innovation, co-branding, right? Five strategies to help your product 
not to decline, right? No questions? Good. So let's go to the menu, right? Let's go to the menu. It's time to work. Here, right? Let me see. Um, okay, here, right? In my house is very hot. I don't know what if, if in your houses, do you feel that is very hot? No. It's saying. Yeah. Yeah, yes. right. The the yes. weather is changing. Come on. Yes. You know, yesterday, for example, well, because because of these changes you know, of the of the weather, but now I'm better. So in your case, be be careful, right? Because we have a lot of virus flying. Good. So it says there are a variety cause there are sorry vary causes that generate the decline of a product. Exercise seven, right? Page number fifteen. Yes. Building vocabulary, right? It says match the causes below to their corresponding definitions. Compare your answers with the parts. Okay, we're going to compare together, right? So we're going to go one by one. Obsolescence, obsolescence, demand downturn, changes in customer preference, and global competition, right? So when you're ready, tell me the answer. Volunteer, right? One by one. Okay, Yvette, please. The excellence is a significant decline in the competitive competitive how do I have to say <laughs> competitiveness 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 or value <laughs> of a product usually because a more innovative or cheaper one is available totally correct right Carlos please demand downturn thank you Beth. okay uh, Carlos a reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or service. Totally correct. Very good, Carlos. Uh, changes in customer preference. Yes, Vanessa. The presence of innovative product or service causes customers to change their taste and preference. The taste and preference, right? Very good. Thank you. And the last one, the last one is the most difficult, right? <laughs> okay. Who wants to read? It's obvious, right? Oh, Global right. competition. Uh huh. Global competition. Come on, go ahead. International competitive companies might offer better, better products at cheaper price. Prices. Um, prices. Price, prices. A white bitter distribution. White might uh, cause my might cause the cleaning the or decline, local, decline, decline, decline mm -hmm. of locality manufactured products. Manufactured product. Very good. Thank you. Manufactured product. Okie dokie. Nice. Excellent. Also, right? Good. So that's it. Easy, right? Come on, guys. You learn really fast. Maybe the pronunciation for me, for example, this word is difficult to pronounce. Look, obsolescence, obsolescence, right? Competitiveness. What I do is that I, listen, when I have problems for the pronunciation, right? I go to the root, me voy a la, a la raíz de la, de la palabra, right? Competition, competition, competitive, 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 competitiveness competitiveness huh? you know competition competitive. competitiveness uh -huh, very good excellent competitiveness 
Okay. Uh huh. Teacher, oh. your camera is off. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. No sé por qué se me apaga. No entiendo. But it's not me, eh? It's not me. And thank you very much. Eh, Ana María, eh, usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp. No, 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 tampoco. No, es que de hecho yo no me, la semana pasada yo no me había metido porque el correo me había caído en correo no deseado y yo no me había fijado. De hecho, hasta el viernes que me llamaron que porque había faltado jueves. Sí. Pues, bueno, entonces, eh, en el correo que le mandaron, ahí hay un link para meterse al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Sí. Ah, eh, ya lo voy a buscar ahorita. Uh -huh. Sí, está bien. Y me hace un favor, porque le voy a mandar el libro. Bueno, está en la plataforma el libro, el manual. Pero también yo se los he enviado, bueno, dos veces se lo he enviado al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Pero lo, lo voy a mandar esta noche. Pero okay. sí, sí quiero que okay. se incorpore el grupo para... ¿Verdad? Porque yo se lo puedo mandar y si quiere lo en público. Sí, ok. Bye. Bye. Ahorita lo busco. Ok, y me dice, por favor, me manda un mensaje. Sí, ok. Sí, sí, gracias. Ok, thank you, Ana María, thank you. Now, uh, let's continue, right? So, I was telling you that uh, what you can do is to go to the root, ir a la, regla, a la raíz de la palabra, right? So, competition. Competition is similar to Spanish, right? Uh, and competitive, 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 right? And then compet competitiveness, competitiveness, competitiveness. Oh, competitiveness, <laughs> you know? Okay, Carlos, can you pronounce competitiveness, competitiveness? Competitiveness. Okay, very good, you see? Vanessa, Vanessa Noemi? Competitiveness. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Domingo. Competitiveness. Okay. <laughs> this is for you. Look. Thank you. Okay. And also, what else? Uh, Teacher, the use, no use, the uses uh, in next is this expression que se agrega. Ah, yes. It's it's a a suffix. Uh -huh. yeah. Es uno de los sufijos que usamos, hay varios, uh, para indicar que un adjetivo o un verbo a veces, a veces los verbos, ¿sí? se convierte en un nombre. El adjetivo se convierte en un nombre o el, nom o el, el verbo se convierte en un nombre, nes. ¿Ok? ¿Es un qué? Ah. Es un sufijo, sufijo. Ah. que cambia el adjetivo. Por ejemplo, aquí es competitive. Competitive, competitivo, right? It's an adjective, es un adjetivo. No es un nombre, competitivo, right? Pero si le agregamos el NES, cambia el competitivo a competitividad. <laughs> Even in Spanish, sí. Ok, competitividad. Ok, eso de dad o cambiar un, algo a un nombre, pues es ese sufijo NES. Y hay otros, hay otros, pero... Okay. Sí, ahorita, pues, no, no es el tema, pero ahí vamos a ir viendo poquito a poquito las palabras, ¿ok? Good, thank you. No more questions. So, let's continue. The product life cycle. The following are strategies to handle the decline stage of a product, right? So, we have uh, the problem. Four problems that cause that your products goes down, decline, right? And now we have five strategies to handle uh, the decline of your product, right? So lower prices. What is that? What is the meaning of that? Volunteers, please. Lower prices. What is that? What is this strategy? Yes, Aminda? Uh, self, the, the product in a minor or cheaper to the other uh, products in the Good. market. Good, that's it. Thank you, right? Okay. Eh, if la Niña Rosa is selling tortillas eh, in what? Three tortillas for 
Sorry, I don't know the price. Three tortilla for one quarter, right? You reduce for your tortillas. Tortillas, niña, niña Carmen. Okay. Uh, for four tortillas for one quarter, right? <laughs> okay, so there is lower prices, you know? Okay, repackaging, repackaging. Packaging. Uh huh, please. Teacher. What is that? It's, uh, it's use another uh, representation. Another presentation? Uh huh. Uh huh. In, in, in logos, in, in, in package too. Uh huh. Packages, containers, label, right? You know, mm -hmm. etiquetas. Or maybe mm -hmm. uh, the product is. Is this way, and then you you change it, right? Mm -hmm. The presentation, yes, good, thank you. That is repackaging, right? This continuation. Who wants to talk about this strategy? When you withdraw a product from the when market. you withdraw, yes, or stop producing, right? The 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 product, right? Thank you. Innovation, you. thank you, Vanessa. Okay, uh, innovation. Volunteers. Tic tac, tic tac. Oh, yes. Even, please. Can you, can you do this? Like this? Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Give me a second, Ivet. Uh -huh. Domingo. 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 The microphone. Uh -huh. uh, uh, new ideas. Ideas. N new idea, right? New ideas. Uh -huh. Ivet. Thank you, Domingo. Ivet. Your idea, even? My <laughs> microphone, sorry. Okay. Uh, maybe improve a product? Improve a product to have new creation, right? The creative thoughts, you know, pensamiento creativo, right? Creative thoughts. This can help the product. And co branding. This, I guess this is more difficult to explain, but who wants to help me? What is co branding? When two brands uh, collaborate together, mm -hmm. or in, in, in this time is, is um, uh, the moda? Okay. How do you say the moda? Uh, fashion. Fashion. No, moda, fashion. Está, oh, es, está de moda la colaboración es when mm -hmm. brands and celebrities or influencers. Totally right. But this is another way to make advertising, right? That they uh, anunciar or publicitar un producto. So it's some celebrities. But uh, for example, let's let's say in El Salvador, right? we have super repuestos and empresa repuesto, right? So maybe super repuestos is going down, right? But then they got an alliance with, with uh, Impresa Repuestos, and they together launch a publicity together, right? And then you see Magico Gonzalez, right? Magico Gonzalez is promoting Super Repuestos and Impresa Repuestos. I'm, I'm thinking only, right? Because Magico Gonzalez is one of the most popular um, celebrities in El Salvador. It has a... a, a, a line of shoes uh -huh. dog crew. yes but in this context co-branding is when the uh, two brands collaborate together right one is going down so help me help me please so they go together right maybe the same company the same company produce the two products or maybe other company produce other product and get they get an alliance right an alianza understand so that is co-branding Co brand. Thank you. Thank you very much for your explanation. Sorry. Now we're going to read about the iPods. Do you remember the iPods? How do you say yes. pod? Yes, right. They were very popular. How do you say pod in Spanish? Pod. iPod. <laughs> Uh -huh, pod, only the word pod. 
pod in Spanish is vaina. For example, when you when you buy beans, right? Cuando compramos los frijolitos, right? So the, the beans comes in a vaina, in a pod. Right? Pod. Right? And uh, I don't know, I'm not very sure, but uh, I think that Steve Jobs copied the idea of uh, a movie with Will Smith. Remember the movie I Robot? Who remembers that movie? Yes. Yes? And uh, Bruce, Bruce Willis, no, 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 Bruce Willis, no, uh, Will Smith, sorry, Will Smith. Uh, sometimes I confuse the name, you know, Will Smith, uh, Bruce Willis, Tenchi Sullivan. I confuse. Well, uh, Will Smith produced this movie, right? And it comes for I Robot. I means Joe, Joe, I, you know, I. Yo robot, yo soy un robot, you know, I robot, I robot, you know. So Steve Jobs copied the idea and he copied and it says iPod, you know, iPods, yo vaina, <laughs> yo vaina. Yeah, but that's it, right? Yo vaina, yo, como a mí me gusta la vaina esta de música. <laughs> so that's called iPod. And later, the best device, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> the iPhone, <laughs> the iPhone, you know, it become the same, you know, iPhone, yo celular, you know, o a mi me gusta el celular, you know, it's the same idea, you know, from the movie I, robot, iPod, iPhone, I, I tablet, no, <laughs> no, but those, all the products of Apple, iPad, okay. iPad, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <Qué awesome. laughs> iPad, sorry, iPad, yeah, so uh, this idea comes from the movie, right? So now you understand what is iPod. iPod is like a, una vainita que contiene un montón de música, right? So iPod. So we're going to read. I will read first, and then I will ask some of you to read with me. And together we're going to learn word by word, right? Uh, I'm going to start with Trini. The first sentence, right? Trini, you, I will read. And then you read, Trini, okay? So listen, 12 years and 26 devices later, the generation defining iPod range looks like it's about to fade in, into history without so much as a whimper. Good. Trini, read, please. 12 year and 26 devices later the generation defining iPod range look like it's about to fade into history without history history, history without so much as a whimper. Good. Generation defining generation defining. Okay? Good. Uh, sorry for the interruption. I will take the attendance. Uh, Trini? Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Present. Carlos? Present. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe? Okay, thank you, Claudia, in the chat, right? Okay, Domingo? Present. Ever? Present. Jose Roberto? Present. Good. Casi no le hemos preguntado, ¿verdad, Jose Roberto? Ya, ya le vamos a preguntar, sí. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry, que quiero que todos participen. Eh, Carla Benaz, Benazir? Ay, sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> Carla, thank you, Carla. Thank you. Carla Vanessa, okay. Absent, right? Uh, Laisley? Laisley? Creo que ha tenido problemas con internet desde ayer, Laisley. Okay. Leticia? Present, teacher. Good, thank you. Mariano? 
Mariano. Oscar. Present. Rosemary. Present teacher. Ah, yes, yes. Thank you, Mariano. Uh, Rosemary. Rosemary. Okay. Rosibel. Present teacher. Yvette, thank you. Yvette. Present. Good. Uh, Vanessa Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Vicky Dinora. Miriam Verónica. Um, I'm here. Okay, Miriam, welcome. Yes. You have problems yesterday, right? Tuvo problemas ayer con internet y veo que ahora también le está dando problemas. Yes. Qué bueno, qué bueno que está aquí con no. nosotros ya. Thank you, thank you. Chamba. Thank Chamba. Salvador. Present. Okay, good. Debbie. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue, right? Reading. Uh, by the way, uh, Ever, hello, Ever. We're going to stay after the class, Ever. It's okay for you? No. No. No problem. It's, no problem. Ah, okay. Whew. No, because I say it's a problem for you. You say, no. It's <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Let's continue reading, right? Come on. What time is it? Oh, yes. We have time. Yes. So I will read again, and Aminda, you're going to help me, Aminda. I think all of us have known, uh, sorry, any question for vocabulary? Whimper, teacher. Whimper is a gemido. Like, like something like a, la gama de la, la generación, no, sería la, la gama de la generación definida como lipo, se está diluyendo, perdiendo dentro de la historia, sin más que un gemido, something like that, you know. What okay. is range? Uh, range is gamma, gamma o gamma. gamma. Yes, uh, the generation defined eyeball range is like la gama de la generación o, o el grupo de la generación definida con, con el eyeball, you know, because we have the generation of this correct the generation of the tv color the generation of the smart smart tele, uh, cell phone right yes the they are the the new generation you know so uh, there is a regeneration defined with the ipod you know because a lot of people were using the the ipods yes okay now Listen, I think all of us have known for some time that iPod is a declining business. Uh, okay, Aminda? Okay, I think all of us have known for some time that iPod is a declining business. Good, thank you. Let's continue. Ana Maria uh, said Apple boss Tim Cook in 2014 Discussing the company's latest earning report. Uh, uh, say Apple Boss Team. I. Tim Cook, yes, okay. continue. Uh, Tim Cook in 2014 discussing the company's latest, I think it's like that. Uh -huh, latest. During the report. Good, thank uh, you. No, stop, 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 stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now listen. He announced massive profits as ever, but noted that Apple sales have dipped 52% down on, his, on this time in 2013 with further drops expected. Good. Uh, Carlos, please read that part, please, Carlos. Carlos William? Yes. Please read. He announced. Uh, I, I, I don't see the screen. 
You want it bigger? Lo hacemos un poquito más grande? No, no, demasiado, creo. Ok. Eh, he announced okay. massive. Ok. He announced massive profits as ever, but noted that hyper sales had deeper. 52% down on this time in 2013, with further drops expected. Good, thank you, thank you very much. Now, any question in this paragraph, pronunciation, meaning? What, what the meaning is deeper? Dipped. Okay, Dipped. give me a second. Dipped. Give me a second here. Deep, right? Oh. Let something down quickly. Right? Okay, thanks. Something that is going down quickly. Okay? Good. Dipped, right? And any other question? Quarter drops uh, in the last uh, for further for further further drops Porter. drops is the same uh, deep you know caídas bajadas further okay. is about the future future drops futuras caídas futuras okay. bajes o futuras pérdidas right expected. It means that uh, the sales of the iPod, uh, the guy says, right, is going 52% down in 2013, right? Iba a caer el 52% en 2013, pero se esperaban caídas futuras después del 2013, right? Del producto, okay? Good. In announced. <laughs> announced. This is the pronunciation, right? Announced. El anunció, right? Announced. Announced. Good. And because, remember, there are three pronunciations with ED, right? The, the, t, t, and il, il, il. For example, invite, invited. Invite, invited. Work, worked. T, t. And announced is with D. Announce, announced. D, 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 right? Tenemos tres pronunciaciones para el ED, ¿no? Es para los sonidos voce, voceados. D, d. Como en este caso, announced, announced. Porque este es un sonido de Z, ¿verdad? Announced. Then work. Termina el K, que es un sonido no voceado. So we say worked. Trabajó, you know, worked. O trabajado, worked. Invited. Ahí le agregamos una sílaba extra y se pronuncia id. Invited, right? Okay? Good. Any other question? Any question? Okay, so let's continue reading, please. Let's continue reading. The iPod have been nervously looking over its shoulder for some time. Uh, Domingo, please. The iPod has been nervously looking over its shoulder for some time yes uh, when you see that you're looking over your shoulder it's viendo a través del hombro it's something like this right is uh when when you're driving for example when usted va manejando when you're driving you see over your shoulder right and see what happened right que está pasando que peligro hay you know so that's the meaning of look over your shoulder when you look over your shoulder means that to see what is happening beside you right que está pasando la par suya so that is uh, the word uh, looking over your shoulder. And uh, 
the word nervously. Nervously, nervously right? Nervously. The word come from nervous. That is nervioso, right? Nervous. And the suffix li, el suffijo li. Sorry. Li, that means ente, right? Ente, ente. That it comes the adjective nervous for nervously. Nervioso, nerviosamente. And you know, nervioso, nerviosamente. The adjective change into a, an adverb, right? Nervous, nervously, right? Okay, thank you. Now, continue. When the iPhone was launched, launched, you know, launched in 2007, Steve Jobs joked that it was the best iPod we're, we've ever made, right? So, uh, Ever, can you read, please? Okay. And when the iPhone was launched in 2007, Steve Jobs joked that it was the best iPod web ever made. Thank you. And listen, Steve. Steve. Say ever, Steve. Steve. Excellent. Like you said, school, right? School student, yeah. Okay, thank you. And the pronunciation of ever was really good. Lounge, t, 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 right? The sound is t, porque es sonido de t aquí. Porque la, la ch, 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 ch. no es boceada. Entonces decimos lounge. T. Okay, good. Now, uh, any question about this? Joked. You know what is joked? Bromeo, right? Joked. Again, this is the joked. You no, know, the iPhone. Oh, come on. The best, right? Okay, now let's continue. And he was Teacher. right. With its apps and other smartness, the iPhone meant there was no longer any need to own an iPod as a separate device so long as you could afford it. Good. So please, Jose Roberto, read, please. Okay. Uh, and, he, and he was right. What is apps and other smartness? The iPhone means there was no longer any need to own an iPod as a separate device, so long as you could afford it. Good, thank you. And to finish, listen, Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that would disrupt a successful existing business. Apple thought, if we don't, if we don't do something, someone else will, right? Okay. Uh, Carl, uh, Leticia, please. Leticia, can you read this part, please, for me? Which teacher? The one that is uh, in blue. In apple. Uh-huh, uh -huh, yes. Okay. Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that will distribute a successful existing business. Apple told if we don't do something, someone else will. Thank you very much. Good. Any question? Any question, class? Oops. All of these, right? Yes. Any question? pronunciation, meaning. This is the story of the IPO, you know? No, no question? Okay, so let's continue reading, right? This is the last part. And even today, despite that dramatic 52% uh, fall, 
the Apple range still generates big revenues. 973 millions, but not only, okay, only that, right? Million, right? Okay, so um, who's going to read for me? Uh, Mariano, please read. Uh, even today, despite that dramatic, dramatic 52% fall, the hyper range still generates new revenue, revenues. Revenues, revenues. Mm. Revenues, uh, 973 dot millions. Millions. And These are the incomes, the incomes on the, the profits for, for Apple, right? 973 millions. Give me only one piece <laughs> of this money, right? Now, bet 973 millions out of Apple's total revenues is just a minor sideline, right? Es una migajita de todo lo que gana Apple, right? Or as technology news sites, The Verge, put it in a hobby. <laughs> put it, right? A hobby, you know? Solo lo hacen por, like with Salvador, say, solo por Basil, right? <laughs> they obtain this money, right? It's not like, you know, it's, a, for us, it's a, a, a penny, right? Para nosotros es como un centavito para lo que es la ganancia de Apple. Okay, so uh, who's going to read, please? Oscar, help me, please. But... But 963 million out of Apple total revenues is just a minor side sideline. Sideline, sideline. Sideline. Mm -hmm. side line. Or as a technology new side, the birds put it. A hobby. Say a hobby, right? Sorry, no lo incluí aquí, pero es. A hobby. Hmm. I, I like this. I will translate. Let's vamos a traducir esto, right? But, eh, pero 973 millones eh, tomado de las ganancias totales de Apple, right? Es solo un, un pequeño, uh, pequeña ganancia, ¿verdad? O como la, el sitio de, de noticias tecnológicas dijo, The Birch, se llama este sitio. Eh, lo puso en esta forma, solo es un hobby para Steve Jobs, ¿verdad? solo un, un centavito que quedó tirado por ahí, ¿no? 973 millones. Uh, ok, and let's finish with this, listen, which leads most people in the, in the know to predict that while Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the very near future, we're unlike, unlikely, sorry, to see any kind of significant update of the devices, right? So, uh, Rosemary, are you there, Rosemary? Okay, Rosibel, please. Rosibel, help me, please. Okay, which lead most people in the note to the predict that why Apple may not discontinue the iPod? In the very near future, we're unlikely to see any kind of significant update of the device. Good. In other words, right? Eh, en el dicho popular, right? La gente sabe que aunque no va a ver, siempre lo van a vender el, el iPod, you know? And last time I went to a commercial center, right? And still they're selling it. <laughs> yes, it's true. Todavía lo venden en algunas tiendas. It's true. Okay, pero uh, no va a haber ningún cambio en, en el aparatito. No le va a hacer mejor allá. ¿ya? Y quedó solo como un cosita ahí, como el Nintendo 64, right? Que todavía se vende, pero ya nadie lo mejora, ¿ok? Very good. So, any question, class? This is the story, right? Of the iPod. And the decline, because, you know, 
even it's, they're still selling the product, the iPod have a decline, right? Yes. So this is a story of Apple, right? And you can see that the, they are using some of this technique, right? They use innovation, right? But it didn't work. Repackaging, I remember they changed the, the appearance of the Apple. I remember that, yes. Lower prices, I don't know, but yeah, they, they follow some techniques here, right? Okay, class. If no question, we're going to have an extra material. It's not related with the manual and we officially finished unit, unit uh, one, right? We finished unit one. We, we have only three units to, to go, right? Three units to go. So tomorrow we're going to start with unit number two. Do you have any question about the course? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre el curso? Algo que todavía no esté claro? A topic that you think is difficult? And we can make a review if you want. Okay, good. So we're going to practice with a video, class, with a video today. And uh, this video is, to, is about uh, tourist activity, right? Okay, we're going to learn about Peru. This is the map of Peru, can you see? Peru is located in Western South America. South America, right? It's bordered by the Pacific Coast, the Pacific Coast cover, I'm sorry, uh, divided by the Andes Mountains, the Andes, look, mountains, all of these are the Andes, the Andes Mountains, and it's partly covered by the Amazon rainforest here, partially covered, the Amazon rainforest, you know? Nearly 30, 30 million people live in this diverse land. Spanish is the official language, but many people speak the native language Quechua. The Quechua is the, some of the, like Nahuatl in El Salvador, you know, like Cachiquel in Guatemala, right? So Quechua is the native language in, in Peru. Peru is the home of Machu Picchu, an archeological site that one was a busy Incan city. It was abandoned about 500 years ago, but is now a popular destination for tourists, historians, and hikers. Machu Picchu is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and an important cultural attraction. Okay. And Chamba, would you like to visit Machu Picchu? Chamba? Okay, Debbie, please. Debbie, would you like to visit Machu Picchu? Yes. Yes, no? yes. why? Why are you interested in visiting Machu Picchu? Because, um, I don't know, because I hear to um, this uh, beautiful Okay. Place and the view. Nice. The view could be nice fantastic, view. right? I have never visited, yes. but I imagine the view is the experience. Yes. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Um let me see. Mm, Miriam. Miriam Veronica. Do you like to travel, Miriam? Yes, you can. Okay, nice. And what do you enjoy most about traveling? The food, the culture, the, the views, the mountain. What do you enjoy more about traveling, Miriam? Um, what do you enjoy most? No more, no, most about traveling. The places. The places. What countries have you visited or what places in El Salvador have you visited, Miriam? Mm, the beach, the lake. Okay. Long time. Good. Thank you. Now we're going to see a video about two brothers, right? That are visiting the, 
the Machu Picchu, right? And let's see what is their experience, right? For as long as I can remember, my brother and I have been traveling together through good times, bad times, and even the very weird times. This is Derek, and I'm Paul. And on this trip, we're going to Peru to see the ancient Incan city of Machu Picchu. Derek and I started our Peru adventure in Cusco. From there, we hiked the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. Finally arriving just before dinner, we got our first glimpse of the ancient site. Well, here it is, Machu Picchu. After a grueling trek and donating a pair of sunglasses to the Inca gods somewhere along the trail, we finally made it. Now, to see it this empty right now is really rare. By mid-morning tomorrow, it'll be covered with literally thousands of people. We're going to hike back up in the morning, see if we can get the sunrise and see what Machu Picchu is like. First thing in the morning, the closest access point to Machu Picchu is a town called Aguas Calientes, which is six kilometers away from the ancient city. Here, travel-weary tourists are offered all the amenities of home, hotels, hostels, restaurants, and even internet cafes. However, it should be noted that large tour groups will often come into town and rent out entire hotels. So we suggest either booking a room a few weeks ahead or arriving in town on the earliest train to make sure you have a place to stay the night. Although Aguas Calientes is a relatively new town, ancient techniques are still used by local craftsmen in the town's <laughs> ongoing construction. There's also a great open market in town where local fruits and vegetables are available to ensure you won't run out of energy exploring Machu Picchu. Rising early the next morning, Derek and I made our way back up the trail to the ancient city. These ruins are visited by approximately 2,500 people every day. We wanted to get there early and see as much as we could before the hordes of visitors arrived. <laughs> there are basically two ways to get to Machu Picchu from Aguas Calientes. You can take one of the mini buses that leave from the center of town, or you can take a steep winding trail all the way to the top. Machu Picchu, which means old peak, was constructed around 1450. <laughs> However, as the empire collapsed under the Spanish, it was abandoned roughly 100 years later. Machu Picchu was forgotten by the outside world. In 1911, the site was rediscovered by explorer and historian Hiram Bingham with the help of some local residents. He started the huge job of clearing away hundreds of years of forest growth from the city. When Hiram Bingham came across this site, the overgrowth was unimaginable. Trees, rocks, shrubs covered the entire area. But luckily for them, it looks like the Inca invented the riding lawnmower. The construction of Machu Picchu is still a mystery. Human remains were found on the bottom of the mountain, but nobody knows how many people died building the city. And nobody knows if some kind of rope was used to climb up and down. But we do know that the Inca were master builders. Machu Picchu is comprised of approximately 200 buildings. Most of them are built out of blocks of stone. The blocks were cut with bronze or stone tools, and they were smoothed with sand. The blocks fit together perfectly without mortar. Even a knife blade can't be forced between the stones. There are many theories about Machu Picchu's actual purpose. Some say it was a defensive retreat for the Inca elite. Others believe that it was the estate of an Inca emperor. Either way, it is obvious that the Inca valued their environment. Nature's image is carved into the surroundings throughout the city. Towering 1,200 feet above Machu Picchu lies Huayna Picchu, which means young peak in Quechua, the native Inca language. Derek and I decided to climb Huayna Picchu for a different view of the ancient city. If you decide to make this trek, you won't be disappointed. The peak is dotted with temples and terraces that look down on Machu Picchu. With heavy hearts, we finally left Machu Picchu and took the train back to Cusco. As our trip came to an end, Derek and I agreed that Peru is an amazing country and we are sure to be back soon.
Okay. So let's go to the vocabulary about the video, right? Just give me a second here. Oops, sorry, sorry. Here. Excuse me, class, I have some problems here. Mm. Yes, over here, right? Okay. So uh, things to see and uh, things to do, right? Things to see and things to do in Machu Picchu. Okay, let me see. Uh, what things can you see? Well, the ancient ruins is a place you can see, right? What other things can you see in Machu Picchu? Temples. Temples, what else? Join a true group too. Mm, join means an activity, right? Yeah, things an to action. do. Mm -hmm. And hot springs, it's a place in Arkansas where you uh, is similar to in El Salvador, uh, La Fumarola, right? Or oh, in Metapan, I guess there is a place named. I don't remember the name in Metapan, but we have some kind of geysers, you know? Uh, so, so hot spring is a place you can see, you know? You can Los see. Soles. Uh huh. Los Ausoles. Yes, thank you. Los Ausoles. So, hot spring is in the United States, but it's a place you see it's, they have some Ausoles, you know? Okay, some Fumarolas. Okay. And what things can you do in? In Peru, in, in Machu Picchu. No, 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 excuse me, no, it's not only in Machu Picchu, it's around the world, you know. So things to see, ancient ruins, hot springs, temples, and things to do. Go hiking. Go hiking. Go hiking. Mm -hmm. Eat at restaurants. Eat at restaurants. Eating restaurants, yes. Eat at restaurants. You think shop? Shot at the locker. Good. El Salvador, one of the most popular is Mercado Ex Cuartel, right? So you can buy a lot of things there. And also, you were saying this, join a tour group, right? So these are the activities you can see. Nice? Okay. Then we're going to go to, to another exercise. Okay, let me see. Four and five. Um, Good. I have some problem with the, when I want to move, right? Sorry. Okay, good. And he said, right? These are things that Derek and Paul did in Peru. Put the pictures in order one to five, right? Put the pictures in order one to five, right? And then we have these five activities. Oops, sorry. They climb Guayana Pichu for a different view. It says something like uh, if you have visited uh, San Salvador Volcano, right? Uh, in San, Sal San Salvador de Boquerón, you know? Next to Boquerón, we have uh, El Picacho, right? Sorry, excuse me. More people are confused in, in volcano of San Salvador that the El, El Picacho is the volcano, but no, El Picacho is not the volcano. It's, it's like a like a hill, right? That is next to the to the to the crater. So they had the same happened here. The Machu Picchu, right, has a, a peak, in a peak, right? The, the name is Pico for uh-huh, a peak. Uh -huh. Pick No, pick. P E A K. P E A K. Pick. Pico, you know? Pick. Uh -huh. Pick. So in El Salvador, I say uh, San Salvador volcano, right? El Picacho. People say, ah, El Picacho, you know? 
is the is, is a peak it's como una puntita en el volcán de san salvador you know and, and and then the rest is is the volcano you know so the same happened here right? machu picchu is here and there is a peak and the name of the peak is Guiana, I don't know, Guiana Pichu. <laughs> okay, then they saw the Incas riding lawnmower. It's like uh, something like a cortador de cortador de hierba, que, you know, the the llamas or so the llamas in Spanish, right? The llama, the llama. Okay, they they ate fruits and vegetables from local markets, and they took the train back to Cusco. Okay, activity number one. Give me a second here. Es que me cuesta moverlo, no sé por qué. Al compartirlo, me lo... Me lo mueve mucho aquí. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, good. So, activity number one is they hike the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu, right? Activity number two. What is activity yeah. number two? I climb Huayna Pichu for different view? Mm, no, there is another thing they say uh, to be strong. But uh, let me reduce, lo vamos a reducir. Sorry. Give me a second. Um, okay, here, right? Creo que por aquí más o menos si me lo, me lo proyecta. No. Um, sin proyectarlo, me lo, me lo pone bien fácil el libro, pero ahorita que lo estoy proyectando, no sé por qué me da estos problemas. Okay. A ver, let me see. Okay, good. So the number one is they hike the Inca Trail, right? To Machu Picchu. And then? They took the train back. No, no, no. To Cusco. No, no. The, this is back. They're going back, right? So this is one of the last parts. Okay. Look at this. Second image. They ate fruits, right? and vegetable from the local market. Remember? They say, to be a strong and go up to the mountain, they say, it's necessary to, to improve, mm -hmm. they say, right? In the video. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. then the next activity. Let me see if I have time to, no, I don't have time to put it together uh, again, but so let's do they, it. Mm -hmm. They do the train back across. No, no, no yet. <laughs> they saw the llama, right? The Inca mm. riding llama over, right? You know, it's like eh, algo así como la, la cortadora de césped que podemos montar, you know? The, la cortadora natural. Natural, yes, right. The riding llama over, the llama, they say the llama or the llama, right? Okay, number one. Number two, number three, and number four. They climb Wayana Pichu for a different. Wayana Pichu, right? Yes, this is number number four, right? Let me see. Yes, number four. Number one, they hike it, the Inca Trail, right? Number two, they ate fruits and vegetables. Number three, they saw the, the Incas riding Lam over. And number four, they, uh, they give me a And they climbed the, the Guayana Peach, right? And the last one, finally. They took, they, the took the train. Train. they took the train back to Cusco, right? They took the train back to Cusco. Okay, that's nice. Good. Now we're going to finish with a listening activity. So this is the video about Machu Picchu, and now we're going to finish with a listening. Okay. 
Okay. Give me a second here. Is projecting the book is difficult, right? Eh, cuando uno proyecta algo, lo está compartiendo, se hace más lento el. So, sorry, sorry, class. Okay. So, we're going to go to this listening. We're going to go to this listening. A hearing. Okay. Okay, men made wonders of the world. Okay, I guess this is the right place. Good. So it says, listen to three tour guys describe some famous monuments. Take notes to answer the questions below. Then compare with a partner. I guess we don't have too much time, right? Creo que no nos va a quedar mucho tiempo, pero al menos vamos a contestar algunas. Yes? Okay. So number one is the Taj Mahal, the Palace of Versailles. This is in France, right? Paris. In La Sagrada Familia. So listen and let's answer the questions. Why was it built? What do the changing colors of the building represent? Why was it built? What do the changing colors of the building represent? Listen, please. Page 74, exercise six. Listening, man-made wonders of the world, part A. Listen to three tour guides describe some famous monuments. Take notes to answer the questions below. Then compare with a partner. One, Taj Mahal. Why was it built? What do the changing colors of the building represent? What would you do for love? Would you take 17 years to build a place to remember someone? That's what Emperor Shah Jahan did when he built the Taj Mahal. This incredible building was designed for his wife when she died. She was his third wife, but also his favorite. The colors of the building change with the time of day, and they say that the different colors represent the different moods of women. So, ladies, you can change your mood three times a day, and it's accepted. <laughs> Now, this was built almost 400 years ago, before modern construction equipment. So think about all the work that went into building this. More than 1,000 elephants were used to transport materials, and around 20,000 people were hired to build the Taj Mahal. Now, if we walk closer, you'll see. Okay, now we're not going to listen again, but this time with script, right? Okay. The questions below. Then compare with a partner. One, Taj Mahal. Why was it built? What do the changing colors of the building represent? What would you do for love? Would you take 17 years to build a place to remember someone? That's what Emperor Shah Jahan did when he built the Taj Mahal. This incredible building was designed for his wife when she died. She was his third wife, but also his favorite. The colors of the building change with the time of day, and they say that the different colors represent the different moods of women. So, ladies, you can change your mood three times a day, and it's accepted. <laughs> now, this was built almost 400 years ago, before modern construction equipment. So think about all the work that went into building this. More than 1,000 elephants were used to transport materials, and around 20,000 people were hired to build the Taj Mahal. Now, if we walk closer, you'll see... Two, Palace of... Ver okay, we have no, no more time for the number two and number three, so we're going to answer the questions one and two of the Taj Mahal, right? Volunteers? 
why was the Taj Mahal built? Well, what is the reason it was built? To remember the why so the better. That's correct. To remember the why, right? So he was in love with this woman and this why, right? Okay. And what do you what do the changing colors of the building represent? Three colors, right? During the day. Well, the, the mood of woman. The mood of the woman, right? El, el uh, humor. En que a veces están las mujeres, right? The mood, right? So in my personal opinion, it must be like 100 colors <laughs> on the touch. Right? Okay, good. Now class, any question? So I will pass the attendance and you can, you can uh, go to bed, right? Good. So I uh, only, only ever, please, ever, you're going to stay with me, ever. Don't go. Uh, Trini? Present. Good, Trini. Have a good night. Aminda? Present. Good. Bye-bye, Aminda. Have a good uh, night. Uh, Ana Maria? Present. Good. Have a good night. It was a pleasure good to night. meet you, Ana Maria. Thanks, you too. Okay. Carlos? Present. Good. Have a good night, Carlos. Good night. Blessings for you. Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo. Thank you. Thank you. Present. Good night. Okay. Good night, Domingo. Ever. Present teacher. Good. Don't go. Don't go, Ever. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Good. Carla Benazir. Me envía el mensaje, Carla, por favor. Yeah, thank you, thank you, President, right? And Laisley, Leticia, Leticia Guadalupe, Mariano. Present teacher, good, good night. Thank you, have a good night. Oscar. Good night, good night. Okay, bye Oscar, Rosemary. Rosemary, Rosibel, Sonia Ivet. Present. Okay, thank Good you. Good night. Good night, God bless you. Vanessa Noemi. Present and good, Good night. Good night. Walter. Present, bye. Bye. Wendy. Present. Good night. Goodbye, Vicky. Miriam. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Salvador, Chamba. Okay, good night. Present, mister. Okay, bye. Bye, good night. Debbie. Present. Debbie Present. and Princess. Present. <laughs> Present. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, bye bye. Bye. And Jorge, Jorge Alfredo. Okay, good. Hi, Ever. How are you? Hi, uh, Mister. Everything okay? Okay, good. I I I think no. Okay. Uh, sorry to ask you about your teacher. What what does it mean? Torniquete. What does it mean? It's a group of rock. band. Ah, it's a band. A Salvadorian band. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, rock. Yes, rock, yes. Rock music. Rock, yes, metal. Oh, nice. That's it's, it's so you're metal. a rockero, rockero by heart. <laughs> more or less, more or less. Okay. Uh, this is, I prefer the rock uh, over to the other uh, uh, type of music. Yes. Okay. Uh, and this is, this, this is a band of one friend, no? You can, you can oh, uh, really? search. Yes. Can you looking for for the uh, YouTube for this name? Name is Torniquete. So it means it's you're you're band. familiar with with music too. Ever do you play any instrument or something? I don't know how to say lastimosamente. 
Disappointment. Sadly, I don't know. Sadly. Uh, sadly, no, no, no. But I would like to learn someday. Um, I think a, a, a guitar is the, my preferred instrument to learn someday. Okay. I understand. Okay. Uh, yes. So, Ever, we have finished unit one, right? Uh, there We're is finished. a particular topic, Ever, that you want to review or... Or do you understand everything in unit number one? I understand for the stage, for the different stage, we can uh, search for the and the, the, for the product, no? Mm -hmm. And particularly in this uh, day. Today. Uh, I, I want to make some review about the, the last a reason for the problem when to decline the decline of for the down yes okay so today uh, we saw two things right reason for declining a product and strategies to help the product go up again right? ah, yes yes okay so strategies, I, I will strategies, say i can the strategies okay let's review the strategies yes, that, okay let's review the strategies okay these are the reasons to decline right Yes, this Global is the reason. No? etc. Right. So the strategies are. Uh, it means strategies to handle, para manejar, you know, to handle the decline stage of a product. Right. Lower prices is reduce the prices in the market. Right. If choose cost sixty dollars, you reduce like fifty dollars, for example. Right. So. Ah, okay. This is re the reduction of the prices. Things the lower we, prices when 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 we change the price for the product. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so we reduce the, the price. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eva. Okay. Continue. So means reduction of prices, right? Good. This okay. is one strategy. Number two, repackaging is like a uh, reempacar. You change two things, Repa. right? The presentation or the container of the product, right? Sorry to, ah, okay. to, to repeat about the leche muki, for example, because in my family, we, we like leche muki. Leche muki has a presentation in, in, in plastic bottles, you know? Yeah. But now they change into, uh, uh, I don't know. I remember. I don't remember how to say carton. A uh, cart. A box. Yes. No, the cart. Cart, right? Cart, carton. Huh? So now the new presentation is in cart. You know. So people say, "Oh, it's the same product <laughs> ever." Yeah. The container it, it, is different. Mm -hmm. So. Only that. That is the meaning. The way, right? to, the, the way when the company showed us for the other people is, exactly. is different, but the, but the the product base is the same. The same, and the price is also is also the same. The the price and the product is the same. The only way which changes the packaging. There is this is for repackaging. I I can't heard one example that you give us. About the the coffee, uh -huh. the coffee listo, for example, uh -huh. yes, yes, it's true. Uh, that that has a, a, a one different about the the taste of the flavors. Uh, it's the same coffee, no? But for my uh, I in my case, I think I think that is not coffee. There is a, a one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do we call it? Yes, is we. They have a, diff, a, a different process. It's very uh, acid. Another additive. Yes, it's another very additive. Acid. But well, uh, ever, ever yeah. listen. Uh, the doctor recommend me do not drink this coffee because it's, it's based on chemic, right? You know, it's, it's not good. Uh, I prefer yeah, the, I, I, the national coffee that is Cafe Rico, Cafe, Cos Cafe, you know. That is a yeah. cafe chingaste, right? But, but yes, it's better. Yes. This, better. this is the better, right? Yeah, no, of course. This is, this is 
this is the the copy in the in the must is the puro pure uh -huh, pure pure no mm -hmm. yes it's pure. pure this is a copy pure it's not the best and... but it's something that Salvador consume right uh -huh. but it's more healthy of course listen ever when you go on the street and and you you're hurrying right to your work sometimes you buy pupusas on the street so yes. they, they sell cos cafe cos cafe so this coffee that you drink on the street is the cheaper right it's cheaper yes, yeah. Sorry, many maybe may, 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 many you can see many people sell for the one I want a topper and as a, a, a hot water and put it with the, the this sobres how they say in bell, sobres, a little uh, a, or, or a little boxes bit, boxes because they little a, boxes right a little box yes yeah. yes this coffee is very very nasty for the for the has held, held it, no sorry sorry i i remember the exactly word sorry but, uh, bags little bags uh, bolsitas bag, bags bag. bags yes yeah, sorry bolsita. yeah yeah okay bags. good okay now uh repackaging right the other is discontinuation discontinuation okay these are two options right you withdraw or take away the product you break off or you stop right stop the production of the, of your of your merchandise of your goods right for a mm, time okay one year two years six months right or permanent for a, for a partial for a partial time or uh -huh. temporary or, or permanent. permanent okay yes is is if the product is okay. declining okay sorry you discontinue the product right forever okay that would good. be stop manufacturing okay. stop manufacturing good thank you that's that, that, that's right right okay uh, next strategy innovation i like this this is my favorite ever a new idea yeah. or create creative you know creativos pensamientos creativos or ideas creativas right creative thoughts creative thoughts that, the meaning for this sentence is creative thoughts is pensamientos positivos no 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 positive new new Cre new ah, or creative okay creative Great. or new yeah. look new or creative right yes, new because, or creative okay because remember uh, well i'm not very creative ever but i imagine the the presentation or the flavors of the product or the the accessibility or you know everything that is new attract people right yeah. or, or ideas that are i don't know creative good right good ideas yeah yes that is some that is some for the people no uh, i think uh when the people found a uh, uh, one product in the in, in the market that they never see them and has a a, a a new uh, skills or new taste about it that that then want to to taste no totally they right go and and, and and buy it no innovation yes they buy the product of course yes okay and the last one yes this is the last one co-branding right co-branding is to, to share uh, the your product the brand of your product with other products right they mix maybe is from the same company the product we have two products with the same company they are together you know like friends or you okay. make an alliance an alianza right with other company right and you launch uh, your product that is declining your product that is declining with other product together you know okay, okay. so that is co-branding that is go branding. Okay. Go branding. Change the, the, the that that will be a work with the other companies too. Or mm -hmm. our brother's company. Or oh, oh, listen, ever it could be that two pros are declining, but if they go together, it's fantastic, right? Okay. Yes. Perfect. So these well, are the strategies clear. to help the product to to stop the decline, right? 
This is Good. the main, the, 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 five, the five strategies. Co-branding, yes, five. that's it, yes. Okay. So any any question okay. about these strategies? No, clear, clear, clear. I, okay, I, I got, I got a, 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 the only dude we got it is the repackaging. Mm, okay. But, but now, now it's clear. Now you but, understand. But, but I, I am clear. You understand, right? The repackaging yes, processes. Yes. You will. Good. Yes, I, I got idea now. Good. Uh, ever, I will give you my personal recommendations to you to improve, you know, para mejorar, to improve your English. Uh, yes, watch yes, movies so. in English only, right? Okay, perfect. And please put the subtitles in English too. Okay? Okay. That's my recommendation. Do you have Disney or, or Netflix? Okay. No, Netflix. Netflix. Or oh, good. Perfect. I put in... I put in this instruction on this uh, week. I started putting in this instruction. Um, I think I, I improved a, a little, a little, uh, uh, but in the beginning is very, very difficult because we don't, we don't, not, we are not accustomed. Uh, We're not accustomed for, to. Mm -hmm. for this. Yes, and and some series uh, can I see uh, are the the Britain the, the United Kingdom series and some words I never see heard. Well, me either. I never right? heard it. ever. I will be honest with you. When I see a series, when I see a movie in English, I don't understand everything. Even yeah. I have, you know, it's because vocabulary is ooh. Very wide, right? Very. Uh, we have a variety of words, like a lot of is, words, yeah. For example, today and you know the word obsolence, obsolence, right? For me, was a new word. Obsolence. Even the pronunciation is difficult for me. Obsolence. Yes. And in Spanish, is difficult too. Even obsolencia. What's that? You know. So, sometimes, but but listen, the idea is that you. Uh, try to to use the syntax you know syntax is la sintaxis is the 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 logic order of the words el orden lógico de las palabras para expresar ideas right that is the syntax so when you watch yeah. english movies you are practicing the syntax right okay so it's logic your brain understands better right understand and this is really right and the second recommendation yeah. for tonight is to listen to music and watch the lyrics. Ver la letra de la canción, right? Ah, okay. And you can do like that in, in, the, in YouTube. YouTube, right? For okay. example, let's say Metallica. Going... Metallica, right? Yes. The Master of Puppets, the most famous album. Yeah. Right? So you put the Master of Puppets Master. and you put lyrics. L Y R I C S lyrics means la letra de la canción, right? If you learn, okay, uh, ever if you learn one song every week, one movie every week, come on, your English goes that up, right? Goes up, right? And the last recommendation, okay, ever if you like to read, in YouTube you can find audio books. Listen audio books, audio libro, right? But in English, audio books. So you put yes, yes. in YouTube audio books and ooh, a lot of books are going to appear, right? My it's recommendation for to, ever, my recommendation for tonight is The Little Prince, El Principito. So yes, yes. if you have time ever, not only one day because uh, the video is two hours, two hours. So you can, yes, you can yes. see uh, one book in one month, you know, cada mes un libro, for example, right? It could be. So uh, yes, try to maybe. improve your English ever, practice your English. This is the right moment, the right moment you practice. You listen music, watch videos, watch everything in English, right? My Thank you, Mr. Good. I put in this recommendation. Please, please. I don't know if you have any extra question. Uh, ever uh, for the moment that's it, that's it thank you okay thank yes. you ever 
And have a beautiful no. night. Thank you, teacher. Okay. And uh, nice to that night too. Okay. God bless you. Bye bye.